So in this video, we are going to go over how to batch process, especially as it pertains to Thunder computationally cleared images. Thunder can be applied either on the fly or after acquisition. And some people prefer to do all of their acquisition at once and then apply the same settings to a batch of images because some of the larger files can take longer periods of time and it will be it would be more convenient to run them overnight, for instance. So in order to do the batch processing, the first thing you wanna do is go to process. Then under process tools, go ahead and select lightning and thunder process. Then go to open projects and select the files that you would like to process. So in this case, I have this raw image file and I also have this image one, which I selected with the control. And then I will go right click and hit send to batch processing. Now, when I go to the batch processing menu, I will see my two image files listed under the batch job. I can either go through each job and select specific settings, or I can apply the same settings to all of my jobs. So for instance, perhaps I would want to do small volume computational clearing on series one, um, and I will apply current settings to all jobs, meaning that the image two will also do a small volume computational clearing. So when I'm ready, I will hit start batch. You'll see that as this process goes, the status will change from completed uh, processing to completed. And so that took an, a minute and 47 seconds. And now when we go back to our open projects, we have these new files here. SVCC stands for small volume computational clearing. So this is the cleared image of that first series. And then this is the cleared image of the second set, which is called, called image one.